Hello guys, welcome to Tech Cyber Sheet by Nikhil. In today's video, I will show you how to install FortiGate on VMware and how to provide internet access to the FortiGate device for lab testing. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon for more networking and cybersecurity related videos. So let's get started. Step one is downloading FortiGate VM image. So first I will login into the support.fortinet.com to download the FortiGate VM image. If you don't have an account, I will provide the Google Drive link for the VM image in the description. If you already have an account, let me show you how to download it properly. So first of all, after login in using your username and password, so first of all I will log in my username and password and I will click the login as an email user. So for that uh, I will take I will check my password and I will retype my password and you know to click on the login as email users and then you will get the security code. So I will retype again it's getting so now you can see input security code option is showing. So once the, uh, you put the security code, you will get the dashboard of the how to download the VM image on the footy cloud. So after in the after login via the security code, click on the download options on live screen and then click on the VM image options. Next in the Select product drop down choose the 48 48 you need to uh, select okay uh, for uh, you need to download the 48 VM image okay so after that select the product 48 you need to uh, you can see here is 749 and this is the image but uh, this uh, platform is early cloud so uh, uh, earlier version there is 7 to 12 it is the free okay so first of all i will uh, select the my platform uh, in the select platform you can see the early cloud option so first i will select here 48 and then i will select here vmware esx if you have azure aws so you can select it okay so uh, you can see there is two option latest versions and earlier versions latest version is paid you need the license and earlier versions i will download the 7 to 12 last image that is the dot ova dot out dot z file so i will download this file this file we need to install on the our vmware workstation pro okay so this is the you can see 82.16 mb so i will download this file once the file download is successfully done we will set up the or 48 device on the VMware so I have the VMware ESXi for that I have downloaded this EM image okay step 2 is importing the image into VMware once the image is downloaded open VMware workstations if you need a free license key for VMware just comment below and I will share the license key with you in VMware you will see three options there is create new virtual machine then open a virtual machine and connect to remote server so first I will extract the zip file then open the extracted folder then we need to open the extracted folder and open a virtual machines and click on the that file and second one 40 os vm6 dot out that file we need to open on the open a virtual machine then accept this the agreement and then click on the next options and type here any name i will type here uh, 40 os 7.2 and then press next okay then here you can see 40 os so click on the import options 
and for that we need so once the import virtual machine done as you can see on the screen the import process starts and OS is installing on VMware this usually takes around 30 seconds so first uh, so one uh, this uh, process is uh, will run in the background so before that I will show you how to configure internet to, to give the internet access to your 40 gate device before moving further let's configure internet access for the 40 gate click on the edit options and then virtual network editor then uh, you can on the live screen see here that this option will open just uh, hold on one second and you can see third one that is vm net 8 and there is net is type is net so i have uh, this is my old configuration so i will remove it and again i will show you how to configure this setting okay so in the live screen you can see a system is starting okay we will uh, the system will uh, run in the background so before that i will show you the this setting so first i will remove this uh, uh, old configuration i will click on the remove network and i will click on the add network to provide the internet access to the 40 gate and then here you can see that is vm net 8 okay so press ok to save the configuration okay so it will and in the it's added successfully so after that we need to select the bridge option so i will select it bridge option and in the type you can select uh, here is the automatic so you need to select it your uh, means uh, from which you are getting the internet so i am getting the internet from the last one that is the real tech so how i did find it so i will uh, show you the on the my uh, cmd command i will open the network second uh, setting and in the wi-fi you can see that that is the real tech okay so uh, here is uh, it is not in the Wi-Fi setting you can see real tech okay RTL so for that I have configured this setting on the my uh, the VM setting because the internet will be come from my Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi port okay that is the virtual port so for that selected I have and then phrase apply and then phrase ok to save the configuration okay so configuration will be save it now start the system so it will take around 10 seconds to boot ok so just hold on and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to my channel to get like this video on the live screen you can see that system is starting option we we can see so after that it will show the system serial number so just hold on it will take the some time and on the live screen you can see that there is a serial number and after that serial number we will get the login prompt So you can see uh, before login in power of the VM I will uh, power of the setting click on the right click and there is a power up option so after that then click on the 40 OS VM and then go to edit setting and make the following changes select the this setting and then click on edit setting and make the following changes memory should be 2 gb and number of processor will be 1 that is the net ok this will be 1 only
in this you can select lan segment 1 that is the bridge network network adapter 2 for the lan access and in network adapter this will be custom and here you can select the ethernet it that is the net <coughs> that is the for the internet connectivity and press ok to save the configuration then again power on the vm so it will take around 20 seconds to start if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more networking and cyber security tutorials so once the our vm is started so we will take the next process uh, this is a very easy process to give the internet access to your vm footing it and the how to access the GUI without the license errors so please watch the full video so you can easily get the internet to your 4 ticket vm firewall and easily access the LAN okay so now system is showing starting okay so once system is start will access the 4 ticket CLI and the 4 ticket GUI okay so once the system starts you will see the login page so first will this will be scan and once the scanning completed you will see the serial number and after that you can see the login page so login via admin and the password will be empty don't uh, type any password press enter and you will uh, from to the new password and set new password and confirm password so once the password is verified successfully i got the my 40 os vm64 access so i will i have this the cli access okay so i will type the gate system status that will be show the my 40 gate version 40 gate system uptime and all the 40 gate related <coughs> details here you can see why the gate system status command what is the cpu what is the memory all thing you will be get here so after that to view the interface configuration type gate system interface physical to enable GUI access on the management interface in if you on GUI access here you can see there is a zero zero so type config system interface after that edit mgmt you can type and i will set the mode static to dscp so for that set mode dscp is command and then press enter and type next and after that type end and press enter so now use the command get system interface after the end so now get we will get the IP via DCP get system interface and you can see here I got the uh, to port MGMT 192.168.118.129 so via this I will access the G of my 40 gate VM64 so copy that IP address and open your browser to access the GUI okay so type here HTTPS and your DSCP IP that you got to your management port and press enter once the IP address is typed so click on the advance and then click on the proceed and after that login via username password you have set so final verification is first click on here remind me later then click on begin then save and continue and acknowledge it and press ok and click on the later again so after that don't show again and 
but it's okay to save it and so finally you have now successfully accessed the 48 GUI dashboard you can see the version 7.2.12 and system uptime is 4 minutes and network interface you can configure the interface as per your lab requirement so you can see here the status CPU in the network interface you can see the port configurations okay and in the static route you can see the route of the Fortigate device in the policy and objects you can create the new policy and so finally I will uh, show you the internet connected by pinging google dns that is the execute ping 8.8.8.8 if it replies successfully it means Fortigate has the internet access so if you found this video helpful please subscribe like and press the bell icon to get the latest networking and cyber security videos thanks for watching video and i will see you in the next one so guys thank you for watching this video